Hey guys, cable guy Ken here. Just gonna show you uh, what I walk out in the, the woods and all with. This is actually a bag that came on the front of my back uh, backpack, uh, rucksack, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a uh, it's probably six seven year old Jan Sport pack made out of nylon, rubberized, coated inside. It's actually held up extremely well. Uh, little clips that hold it on to the front of it so you can move it around. All I did was took a couple of wire ties and took a uh, strap. This actually came off of a camera strap. It's adjustable for length. Um, this is what I carry out in the woods until my stuff that I'm ordering from Dave gets here. Then I'll have something a little bit nicer. Um, I don't carry much with me. I have learned from doing Dave's challenges that I need these. I've got the uh, medicinal plants, just a pocket guide from uh, Waterford Press. South Carolina trees and wildflowers, animal tracks and wild edible plants. What I like about the animal tracks is it gives you the the tracks that the animals make. Comes with a nice little ruler here to measure. Got a yellow jack flying around me. Gives you a ruler to measure any tracks you come across. Shows you what the scat looks like, what the different types of animal signs look like. Um, birds, four and five toe animals. Uh, large game. I mean it breaks down just about anything you'd run into in the woods and it tells you in each little description uh, by what size track you're looking at will give you a good judge of about the age of the animal. Um, really useful to have in the woods as I'm sure you all know all these are. Uh, they give you fairly good descriptions of what each one's used for um, as far as in the medicinal plants. It even warns you the juice can cause contact dermatitis of the cleaver plant. So tells you how to use it uh, but also gives you any little warnings or anything that may come along with it. Um, one of these I think it was bone set. You can use it let me find it real quick because I don't want to be wrong here. Yeah, You can use a weak tea to alleviate the symptoms of flu, colds, and fevers but if you make it too strong it will induce vomiting which is something useful to know. I mean if somebody just said I could use this plant as a uh, medicinal tea for the fevers and colds and all, I'd be like, man, that's awesome. But then if I go out and I make it too strong and I've got diarrhea or, you know, I'm vomiting in the woods, you're not going to live long. So I always keep those stuck down in there in my little pack. Um, next two things I keep in here, or three I should say, I've got my more maker knife stays in here. Now I've always got knives on me and I'll show you that in my next video, but I always like to keep it in here. And then just tucked on the other side, I said it comes with a little belt loop, so I can wear it on my belt if I want to, but I've got my little Blackie Collins designed Camp USA saw that I used in my bamboo video. Um, it's a real thin saw, but really good grippy, good solid lock on it. It's not going to close up on you. Um, it's kind of flexible, but it does an outstanding job, y'all. It does a great job. So that's always in there. Then I've got a good size wad of uh, dryer lint and some other little, uh, I think that's part of a trioxane tab just in case, and then some little cellophane wrap wax stuff that I did that uh, I actually sealed up a little pack with a, a food sealing food sealing machine. Um, so the whole thing about the wax is if it coats everything that's wet, everything will get drier and it'll burn a little bit hotter but as I found out today that doesn't always work exactly like it looks like it should um, I mean another little thing here got a uh, bundle of dryer lint with strike anywhere matches um, other than using it for tinder the dryer lint's also to keep the matches from coming into contact with the sandpaper I've got glued to the inside top of this. That way I've always got something to strike it on. That shoved down in there decent. Now somebody mentioned this yesterday and I thought it's kind of odd because I thought I was the only person who ever did this. I do smoke. I got cigarettes and lighter right here so I've always got a lighter with me but you can light these cigars and just a little puff on it or just blow on the end of it to keep it lit and I mean this thing will burn for an hour if you just blow on it every now and then. So you've got a portable ember 
that you can take with you and a good size dimmer you know it's as big as my thumb get to where you're going to set up camp get your your tinder bundle set your little bird's nest ready pop the end of this cigar off into it and you've got a big red hot ember to start your fire again like they said you know that first fire is the most important well I smoke so I've got a cigar and then in this I'm not going to empty it uh, you see I've got a little piece of gorilla tape around it to seal it up but I've got two long floats uh, balsa wood floats some uh, hooks sinkers some uh, little plastic uh, grubs how fly jigs we call them they work great on crappy around here that's my little fishing tool um, I've got just a cheap little flashlight as a backup uh, I've got a good flashlight that I keep in my pocket but just in case I've got that one or if I run into somebody else in the woods that's trapped and you know they don't have a light you know help your brothers out you never know when they might return the favor I've got uh, 15 feet of paracord here I've got probably another 10 feet of paracord wrapped around some fat lighter and I just keep it around it to keep it together so it's not bouncing around inside of there and this is the good stuff this is some I harvested out of the tree here in the woods and I mean it is just eat up with rosin I mean it's so sticky you can't hardly stand it that's the good stuff that's like gold alright I've got a buck coarse and fine diamond hone just for keeping a touch up on my edges um, I do most of my real sanding or uh, sharpening rather on a belt sander or really fine grit belt sander but uh, this works good enough in the woods that's probably about a 200 grit and this comes up feeling about like a six seven hundred grit as far as the edge that it puts on it so it works real good doesn't take up much room shelves right down inside my little bag I've got a pair of toenail clippers as uh, you hear Dave Wendell say all the time and I agree with him you know keeping your your toenails and your fingernails in shape when you're out in the woods is really important you can get all kind of infections under there um, if they get too long you know you get it caught on something and break it off um, that's pain so I've got those and they're just tied off with a little piece of paracord to the bottom of my little multi-tool that my kids gave me I'm sorry my wife gave me this one um, this is just a Winchester it's nothing fancy but it does the job uh, it's got a good pair of pliers on it I like the fact that you don't have to open it to get out your other tools uh, good little can opener screwdriver a little awl it has a nice little serrated blade here I wished it had a little wood saw on it but it don't but I've got one in the case here just in case um, decent little blade here for a little you know smaller work if I need it another little tiny uh, screwdriver and then you've got the file and of course there's a bigger screwdriver in here a little bit bigger screwdriver right there um, does have wire cutters on it and they do work they do a pretty good job of uh, cutting coat hanger and stuff like that um, neat little kit it also came with some uh, bits I don't know that I'd ever use any of them in the woods but they pop right on the the end of one of the other tools here so you know good little deal to have um, didn't cost much like I said my wife gave it to me for uh, I think she gave it to me for my birthday last year so I keep it in there just in case and the last thing I always pack <coughs> I've got some raging Cajun line here this is actually 20 pound test there's probably uh, 500 yards left on here it's got a piece of duct tape holding it down gorilla tape um, I keep that on there that 20 pound test is small enough you could use it for snares and such um, use it of course for fishing uh, bind a shelter together if you absolutely had to um, it's strong stuff and then I've got just a length of an old belt and I don't know if you can see that but I've actually got a compound on that I can take that lay it down on a log and use that to just strop down my blade rather than taking my belt off and using the inside of my belt I've always got a leather strop with me and then I can flip it over to the shiny side and do the same thing again to get just that extra little bit of polish on it there's nothing on this side but I do have a compound on this side that you know takes that feather edge off real quick and I just wrap it around my uh, fishing line and chunk it into the top of it it's a little tight but there's a lot of stuff in there 
and I can take my hobo stove, throw one of these little uh, end pieces right through it, hook it back on there, throw that over my shoulder and run with it. It don't weigh a whole lot, probably weighs about three pounds, but I've got plenty with me in the woods. You notice I didn't have a shelter in there because I don't need it. I can make a shelter real quick. Um, when I get a little bit bigger pack, when the stuff I've got ordered comes in, then I'll probably put a small shelter in here, at least a small like 6x6, six 6x8 by six, six by tarp, and I'll have that. But that's what I took when I'm walking through the woods, with the exception of what I got on me, and I'll show you that in the next video. Thank you very much.